Hi everyone! Welcome to Tinker Tots. Today we're going to be making a special ice painting activity. And we're also going to be singing a few songs about colors. Let's go ahead and get started with our hello song. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's great to see you here. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's great to see you here. Hello friends, it's great to see you here today. We're going to start out with a song about fish. Do you see the fish up on my board, boys and girls? We've got a few different colors of fish here. We're going to start a little rhyme about all the fish in the sea, and I want you to help me look for certain colors of fish. Are you ready? Let's go. There are so many fish in the deep blue sea. What color fish do you see? Boys and girls, do you see the red fish? Where is it? Can you point to it for me? Here's the red fish. Let's go ahead and hold up the red fish and help it swim away. There's the red fish. Let's do the next one. There are so many fish in the deep blue sea. What color of fish do you see? Boys and girls, can you help me find the blue fish? Can you point to it for me? Here's the blue fish. Great job. Let's have the blue fish swim away. There it goes. There are so many fish in the deep blue sea. What color of fish do you see? Boys and girls, can you help me find the orange fish? Where's the orange fish? Here it is. Let's help it swim away. Swim, swim, swim. There are so many fish in the deep blue sea. What color of fish do you see? Boys and girls, can you help me find the green fish? Where's the last green fish? Just one. Here it is. Boys and girls, help me swim the fish away. There are so many fish in the deep blue sea. What color of fish do you see? Boys and girls, can you help me find a yellow fish? Oh, it's the last one left. There it is. And let's help the yellow fish swim away. Great job, boys and girls. Thank you for helping me find all of my colorful fish in the deep blue sea. We have another game to play today, another game to help us find our colors. And parents, you can play color games at home by finding different sorts of objects and then having your child help you choose and identify different colors. This one is called, Can You Find? So. Boys and girls, I'm going to start by singing a song and then we'll find the color together. Can you find the color red, the color red, the color red? Can you find the color red and hold it in the air? Boys and girls, where's the color red? Here it is. We found the color red. And it's a squeaky block. Okay, let's find the next one. Can you find the color blue, the color blue, the color blue? Can you find the color blue and hold it in the air? Where's the color blue? Here it is, another block. Let's find our next one. Can you find the color purple, the color purple, the color purple? Can you find the color purple and hold it in the air? Boys and girls, where's the color purple? Can you help me find it? Here it is, I've got a shaky egg for you. 
Okay, next one. Can you find the color orange, the color orange, the color orange? Can you find the color orange and hold it in the air? I found it right away. All right, boys and girls, we've got two colors left. Can you find the color yellow, the color yellow, the color yellow? Can you find the color yellow and hold it in the air? Where's the color yellow? Here it is. Can you point to it with me? Last one. Can you find the color green, the color green, the color green? Can you find the color green and hold it in the air? So boys and girls, find your favorite adult today and sing about colors together. Or find some of your favorite colors and talk about them. Like the color red. What is the color red and where do you see it? You see the color red on apples and tomatoes. You might see it on a favorite shirt or maybe a shoe that you own, or maybe you have a red house. So that's a way that you can be talking about colors. Our last song today, before we do our water painting, ice painting activity, is we're gonna be doing a song with our scarves and it's gonna be the Hokey Pokey with colors. So I have some scarves laid out here and we're gonna wave up these scarves and boys and girls, I need you to help me pick the scarves out. Oop. Let's see, yep, these are all the colors I need, good. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with blue. Boys and girls, can you help me find the blue scarf? And if you see it, can you point to it? Oh, here it is. Let's go ahead and start with the blue. You put your blue in, you put your blue out, you put your blue in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Bye-bye, blue. Boys and girls, can you help me find purple? Will you point to it for me? You put your purple in, you put your purple out, you put your purple in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Great job. Boys and girls, can you help me find the red scarf? Here it is. You put your red in, you put your red out, you put your red in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Great job. Boys and girls, can you help me find the green? Here it is. You put your green in, you put your green out, you put your green in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Okay, last color. Can you find the yellow? Here it is. You put your yellow in, you put your yellow out, you put your yellow in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Let's give ourselves a big clap, boys and girls. Great job on singing all of your color songs with me today. We sang a color song about fish, different objects that we could find, like our egg shakers and our blocks. And we did a great song called the Hokey Pokey with different colors of scarves. Now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to make ice paint. And parents, here's the things you're gonna need to make this. You're gonna need an ice tray, ice cube tray, aluminum foil. You're gonna need some popsicle sticks, just a regular size works. You're gonna need washable tempera paint and you're gonna need some water. 
So this is a great and easy recipe that I really like. And it just starts as easy as this by putting the paint into each little slot here. I like to fill it up about a third or a fourth of the way. That's gonna be the main component for your chalk. And I usually fill up four to six at a time. So I've got the pink in there. I'm gonna add in the purple tempera paint next. And this is a really fun activity for all seasons. It can be a great indoor activity. It can be an outdoor activity too however you wanna make that work. So we're adding in some green now. And last, you can see all my colors of paint in there. We're gonna add in some orange. Here we go. And I added in quite a bit of orange, so that's gonna be a bright chalk paint. Now we're gonna add in the water and we're just gonna fill it up it doesn't have to be the whole way, but you're gonna definitely want the water in there. And parents, you can do this um, over the sink. Uh, you can use a spout to help you get it in or a funnel if that's a little easier. You can see now they're full of water. And the next thing that I do is I just mix this. You can have your child help with some of the mixing if you would like. And once it's all mixed up, which I have got here, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is put on your aluminum foil. So this is similar to even how you would make like popsicles, except you're doing this with paint and water instead. So it's gonna be an art activity. So we're gonna go ahead and put that aluminum foil over your ice cube tray. And I'm gonna make sure it's on there nice and tight. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I am going to feel for the little ice cube trays there and I'm gonna pop in the popsicle stick. And I'm gonna repeat this 12 times until each cube in the ice tray has a popsicle stick to it. That way when I take them out, I've got a popsicle stick to paint with. And you can kind of see that as I go through, your end product is gonna look like this all the way through. Now, like on a cooking show where you see the finished product, I did make some ice paint a little bit earlier this week, and this one is all frozen, and the ice paint is ready to go. Now, I would suggest when you're ready to use your ice paint, let it sit out for just a few minutes because that gets the ice paint ready to use. It starts to melt just a little bit. If you take it right out and you start to try to use it, the paint's not gonna come off as easily. And your child's gonna have to really scrub on the paper to get the paint out. But if you let it melt just a little bit, um, it'll be really a vibrant color that your child can paint with. So let's go ahead and take off the aluminum foil and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, here they are. They look really great. You can kind of pop it like normal, but like I said, since I've had it out a little bit, they just come out really easily like this. And I brought out some paper so I can show you a little bit what this painting looks like. So here's an example of my purple and you do a little bit of scrubbing and you can make letters and numbers and shapes. So there's the purple. Here is my orange. I did a J for my name. And I made a circle just for a fun shape to make out of the green. And so you can really get creative with this, use different colors, draw shapes, draw letters, do squiggly lines, different pictures. It's just a different medium that your child can use to help create some fun color scenes. And boys and girls, thank you so much for joining us for our special ice paint activity. 
and for all of our color songs. Let's go ahead and sing goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's great to see you here. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's great to see you here. Bye, friends. See you next time.